From local convenience stores to some of the giants of industry, Middle Eastern businesses are dominated by families. The vast majority of firms in the region are family concerns, handed from father to son, yet few of them survive beyond the second generation. Company chairmen, board members and CEOs have been meeting in Abu Dhabi and the United Arab Emirates to collectively find ways to ensure their companies survive into the third generation and beyond. Wealth planning is sort of ensuring that the family succession happens properly. It is also ensuring that uh, the spoiled kid doesn't spend away all the money. That's one of the basic th things that we try not to um, allow. Um, it's also about sort of getting your family into the future. So you're taking a family business, you're keeping it a family business, but you're saying, ladies and gentlemen, mum, dad, uncles, cousins, sisters, whatever, sit on the side, come to the assemblies, be shareholders, gain from the profits, but let the guys and the gals who know what they're doing run a business. Handing over the reins from father to son may appear relatively straightforward, but not every heir wants to enter the family firm. Well, I don't think he went through trials and tribulations, but I think that uh, he did have a desire to do something else and therefore actually went to film school because he wanted to go into the film industry. So he did his film school and then he tried out in the film industry. Uh, I think he was quite happy there, um, but it was his own decision to actually come in t and try out in the family business. And whether he's happy there or not, that you will have to ask him. I think that was one of the big differences between the way the third generation of my father and, and his cousin specifically joined the business and the way I did. They joined at the top as, as managing directors. I joined quite low down the totem pole as a what management does that trainee. Mean? As a management trainee, so basically um, spending time in each of the different parts of our business. A uh, large part of our business is retail, which includes uh, obviously s stores of various varieties, all of which have warehouses. So warehouse was where it started, warehouse operations. As delegates packed up their bags and went back to work, they took with them key pieces of advice on planning, transparency, frankness in succession, a degree of diversification, hands-off management, and knowing how to say thank you to co-board members and to the workforce.